the College Football 2023 Hall of Fame class ballot was released. Now, there are 12,000 voters on this. I am not one of them. I am a FWAA member, but I am not an NFF member. So, I will not be voting on this, which means I can tell you who I would be voting for. And let me swap this thing over so that you can kind of get a visual along with it. But the 2023 Hall of Fame ballot was released. And there are some pretty big names on here. Uh, Eric Berry uh, from Tennessee. Michael Bishop from Kansas State. Justin Blackman from Oklahoma State. Reggie Bush. uh, Kijana Carter from Penn State. You know, when you go through this, you see a lot of names of guys that you remember. And it, it sparks up good memories, right? Tim Couch at Kentucky. He led, he led the Kentucky Revival with How Mummy. Like, that's a, a pretty big deal. Ken Dorsey, Miami. He was uh, Butch Davis's quarterback. You look at some of these, Dwight Freeney, Syracuse, Robert Gallery from Iowa, etc. There are some really interesting names. I'm going to go ahead and give you my top five that I would be voting for if I were to vote in this. And my top five would be Tim Tebow, who is, it, it blows my mind. He is 10 years removed from his last college season. Makes me feel that much older. D'Angelo Williams, who was the running back at Memphis, he led a Memphis revival uh, and really got it to where Memphis was competing for bowl games again. Like There were winning seasons when D'Angelo Williams was here. Antonio Langham, the cornerback for Alabama in the early 90s, I would vote for him. I would vote for Reggie Bush, running back from USC. I think the only reason that he has not gotten in is had to do with the whole Heisman Trophy and NCAA violations mess. But I think we are well past that. So it's time to put Reggie Bush in there because you cannot have a Hall of Fame without one of the most famous players of all time. And he is certainly that. And then along with that, uh, my number five here, I would vote in Ryan Leaf, quarterback at Washington State. Another one of those guys, he played for Mike Price. Um, Yes, he flamed out in the NFL, but this is the College Football Hall of Fame. And what he did at Washington State was pretty remarkable. If you remember, going to the Rose Bowl was absurd to think about for Washington State in that program. Uh, What Mike Price built and built with the help of Ryan Leaf, I don't know that you'll be able to get that in Pullman again. So Ryan Leaf, uh, you know, big things. Big things when he was with the Cougs. So... Yeah, those would be my five. Tebow, D'Angelo Williams, Antonio Langham, Reggie Bush, and Ryan Leaf. Toss in the comments. We want to hear on YouTube, who are your top five? Who would you vote for? Who should be in the Hall of Fame that is not already? I would like to hear from you, for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.